So the story for Gravity Rush follows a girl named Kat, who in the beginning of the game has amnesia and she can't remember anything. What's her name, uh, where she is, how she got there, what she's all about. She doesn't remember anything. And she finds this little cat that keeps following her around. And this cat, when she's near this cat, gives her the ability to manipulate gravity. And when she does that, she flies in the air and she just like, you know, goes around and floops around and stuff. Uh, in the beginning of the game you are tasked to go and save a couple of people and when you do that you're, you're starting to gain some reputation and everybody's like oh okay this girl's actually here to help besides just be a nuisance to everybody's lives. And later on you meet other characters that can help you with your amnesia problem and also of course help out the world with these monsters which these are like these uh, goopy little black things which we've seen in many games before. They're just little black goopy things that look like tentacles and stuff which it's a Japanese game so of course there's gonna be tentacles everywhere so the story here is actually really good only because um, I mean the, the story itself is good but the character of Cat she's really interesting and funny and just fun and she's just a really likable character so that's the main reason why I love this story to be honest but um but for the most part it, it is a damn good story with a fantastic lead character so Mix those two together, it's a great story. So, there you go, there's the story, let's go into the sound. And a sound for Gravity Rush. Sadly, there really isn't much voice acting in the game, um, and when there is, it's very limited and it's in Japanese, so I can't really comment on that. But I have to say, the soundtrack and the sound design in the game are definitely fantastic in the game. Uh, the soundtrack comes in at the right moments, it's very Japanese-esque, um, it's very good. Also, uh, the sound design is really damn good because when you're flying in the air with your gravity abilities and just swooping around it sounds really good just to hear like all the stuff in the like like all the wind and stuff just whoop by and it's really cool to hear that and all the other sound design here and there like uh, some of the times where you beat up some enemies or just whatever sound good too so overall the sound is somewhat limited but because there's really any like no voice acting but for the most part the sound does a good job for what it has which is just sound design and soundtrack so there you go. It's, it's alright. Let's go on to the graphics. So the graphics for Gravity Rush definitely show off what the PlayStation Vita can do because here it goes for a cel shaded look to it but it also gives us a huge open world to explore and it looks damn good especially the character models and the city itself. Um, the character models are very you know colorful, very nice, very smooth because it is cel shaded but it looks damn good especially cats who if you're like floating in the air and stuff because you have that power remember that. Um, you're just floating air and you see her hair breeze in the wind and you'll see her animations just flop around just like if you were really falling through the air you'd just be flopping around and stuff it looks really really cool um, also the city itself is very well detailed I like how all the people in the environment are just doing their normal thing just walking around talking to people and stuff and it's very very well detailed um, one problem I did have with it is that if you go too far away the draw distance isn't great with the city so you'll just start seeing like uh, gray textures and stuff for the city and it doesn't look very detailed but when you're in the city, it looks damn good. Um, also, I do like how many things can be on the screen at once. For a little portable game, it's really impressive when you're like fighting this huge creature and you're just floating around in the air and there's people running around and stuff and you're here kicking people while you're in the air and stuff. It's really cool. So overall, the graphics here, if Uncharted Golden Abyss did not come out this year, I would say this is definitely the best looking game for the PlayStation Vita so far. But seeing that it did, it's second. So there you go, there's the graphics. Let's go on to the gameplay. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Gravity Rush has a very innovative feature to it, of course. It has the ability to manipulate gravity, which, to be honest, uh, a game just came out that had that, and that was called Inversion, and that game completely bombed, and I can say, you, I can say this right now. I'm going to review Inversion, but I'm going to say it anyway. This game definitely did what Inversion could not, and made it really awesome to manipulate gravity. Here you just float in the air, just out of nowhere, you can just do it whenever you want by pressing the R trigger, and you just start floating in the air, and whatever you point at, if you press the R trigger again, you just start zooming to that thing. And it's awesome because you can like, stand on the side of buildings or above buildings and stuff, or, well, not above buildings, uh, underneath uh, like bridges and stuff. Uh, it's really cool. It really is. It's a really nice feature and it definitely works here. And it's not really hard to control, too, which I had a, I, I had a suspicious feeling that it's going to be really difficult to control on a PS Vita, but it really, really wasn't. It was actually very easy to control. I mean, sure, it takes a little time to get used to, but after that, it takes, it, it takes like no time. You, you'll get used to it. 
Besides just the gravity rush ability, you also have a combat system in the game, which of course you have to fight off those black goopy things like I was talking about before. And when you do, you have to like aim for the weakness, which is this big red eye. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are on walls. So sometimes you either have to go on the ground and use your kick ability, which is just like press the square button, or you actually have to use your gravity rush ability and use gravity kicks and gravity spins and gravity slides to attack them, which when you use the gravity uh, ability to fight off creatures, it's a lot of fun, but when you're on the ground and you're fighting with your kick button, it's really cumbersome, I have to admit. When you're on the ground just kicking and stuff, it's kind of cumbersome, and a lot of times you might want to do this because sometimes it does get confusing when there's a bunch of enemies ganging up on you and you're floating around trying to hit one target. It's a little cumbersome, so sometimes you might want to go on the ground and fight with your kick ability. And it's a little cumbersome, especially with the evade uh, button, which is not a button. You actually have to swipe the screen to evade. Yeah, it does get a little cumbersome, but what else is actually in the game? Well, you have a free roam environment you can just roam around in. Later on, you get more cities to explore, which is always great. And uh, you also have upgrades. You can actually get upgrades by finding these gems throughout the environment or, find, uh, or doing these uh, challenge missions that that are scattered throughout the environment and you use these gems to upgrade your like kick ability, your gravity rush ability, whatever and it's really cool. I really like the upgrade system in this game and I like the free roam environment too. Uh, I also really like it that you can actually uh, get more uh, more cities later on. You can actually explore more places later on in the game. That's really cool. Overall, I think this game, if you do have a PlayStation Vita and you need a new game, this is definitely worth your time because it's a lot of fun. Even though the you know, combat on the ground is cumbersome, everything else is really, really fun gameplay-wise, story-wise, even graphically and sound-wise. It's a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend Gravity Rush to everybody out there. If you have a PlayStation Vita and you want something new, there you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye. Also, remember to follow me on Twitter and like my Gore the Movie God Facebook fan page. Links in the description. Thank you for watching this video and goodbye.